The common potu is one of the most interesting birds in South and Central America. It's not brightly coloured like the parrots and the toucans, and it's not particularly fierce like the raptors, but what it is, is a master of the skies. For example, you may not have noticed the one that's right over my shoulder. Still didn't see it? That's very understandable, because the common potu, Nictibius griseus, is perfectly coloured to be camouflaged against the occasional dead tree scattered through the open woodland. But what's more, it also positions itself to mimic an extension of the tree itself. Being nocturnal, the common potu spends the day resting, and it does it as bold as brass in plain sight. In this footage from a hidden camera, we can see a female potu relaxed and resting casually during the day. The second she detects movement or sound that could signal a predator, she shoots her head straight up and freezes. With her beak pushing up to the sky, she sits perfectly still until the threat has passed, looking like no more than a broken branch. And if the intruder moves, she can move her head imperceptibly slow in order to keep watching it carefully. As she does so, she'll squint her eyes so as not to reveal herself by exposing too much of her vividly yellow irises. These birds are so good at camouflage that they show complete coolness under pressure and only break cover when the potential predator is almost upon them. This female has even more reason to stick around than most. She's nursing a single young chick just a few days old. The devoted mother protects her newborn almost constantly, shielding it against predators and against the elements. Even in thunderstorms and hammering rain, she sticks steadfast to her post and remains motionless when anxious. It appears that this behaviour starts very early on. This tiny chick is already practising the characteristic posture of his mother. Through the night, mum will occasionally and very briefly leave her resting place to swoop up moths and other insects. She'll later regurgitate the partially digested food to feed her fledgling. Nighttime is also when the males of the species can be heard. They have a very distinctive call, which sounds desperately melancholy. And maybe it is. It's a call for potential mates. What I love about this bird is that it has nerves of steel. I can get this close and it hasn't flown away, it's still just pretending not to be here. It's got confidence in its camouflage, and rightly so. The common potu, master of disguise.